guys, what's up? So, I haven't been recording any videos much lately due to work and stuff as I've had a really manic time doing A-level work. I don't know when A-levels come around. There's this massive sea of work which just whoo, sort of washes over you and sort of, you know, it sort of makes a sort of if you like sea that you're sort of swimming in and you have to try and keep yourself afloat by doing extra work so I've been busy with that um, mainly and getting used to the whole A-level system after GCSE so yeah that's the reason why I haven't been making much videos and I'm, a bit, I'm sorry about that but you know academics it, come, it comes first over everything else, so, you know, you can't argue with that. Anyways, well, the reason why I'm making this video today is it's the first day of half term. Woo! But, for the first day of half term, it's not really the first day of a holiday, if you think about it. Because if you think about it back to when you were at school, you will probably have the teacher doing something like this. You must not treat this holiday as a holiday. You must work 24-7 for the mock exams. Otherwise, you won't get the good predicted UCAS grades. So you must study all of this holiday and do well. And studying meaning active revision. You must attempt your questions. Uh, there are plenty of questions on the internet you can download and you must do that yeah so everyone has sort of you know become well heard of that sort of thing and yeah so that's the reason why I um, you know can't make too much videos in this holiday but um, yeah so anyway this video I thought I'd make it um, because you know it's something new if you like um, and I wanted to make something after ages of time not have being able to do this but anyways so back to the video this video I'm going to exclusively make about organs and some of you guys out there who know me um, know me as an organ nutter or an organ enthusiast and I've had various people sort of ask me what happens if you get murdered by an organ pipe, da da da, all of that. And you know, people think I'm crazy, which I am sort of crazy about organs because that's my hobby. So this video is about organs. So I have two examples of organ pipes here. I have this pipe which you hopefully can see. So this pipe, you have the tuning slide up here, which slides up and down to lengthen and shorten the pipe. And then you have the pipe mouth here with the upper lip there and the languid, which is a flat bit of metal in there. And then the lower lip. I'm not exactly too sure what the technical name is for it, but you have the pipe ears here, and some of the pipes actually have a bar across here. They're strings pipe, which causes the air to be bounced back into the top again, so that it doesn't sound an octave higher. So, yeah. So this is a flute pipe, or as I've identified it as a small open diapason, which is a type of flute, and it's characteristic to the organ. So it's not an orchestral imitation. And this sounds like this. And yeah. So, this is basically used for some pieces. Um, I shall put one in now. And yeah, 
so that piece uses this as the sole thing for the melody as it sounds quite mellow and nice and sort of well it brings out the whole thing so yeah and as I said the tuning slide too adjusts the tuning so yeah that's one of them and that is a fundamental sort of uh, sound you'll get in most organs you have another type of pipe which is called a reed pipe and they look like this you have the resonator at this end which goes all the way down here and down into the sort of lower bit where you have the reed tongue there you have the tuning wire which controls how much of the the tongue vibrates that is called the shallot which the reed tongue vibrates against to give quite a twangy sort of sound if you like and yeah and this sort of amplifies the sound and that flap controls how open or closed it is so this pipe sounds like this yeah it's quite a quite a um, interesting noise um, one of the people I spoke to this week and showed this to them never thought you would get this sort of pipe in an organ because you never would have thought it would be there would be a vast array of these but there are uh, because that person thought um, that this sounded quite a bit like a foghorn which it does and yeah it's very loud um, so yeah um, so there are an array of these as well as the flute pipe um, in the organs which are tuned at different pitch so this one is supposed to be tuned at a C sharp according to this on the thing well I'm not going to focus it because it will do something really weird but yeah um, so that's a reed pipe and basically the tuning wire is here so you have to tap this with if you like a tuning knife when it's in the organ you have to tap it up or down to tune the reed and yeah there are also wooden flute pipes like the flute one the diapason one you saw they're ones made out of wood which are like that and they go all the way up to 32 foot um yeah as well as the trumpet ones you can also get 32 foot reeds too on some of the organs which is you know, oh, that it is quite something to have 32 foots on an organ because it's quite rare. You don't really find many organs which are, you know, massive, which have it. It's mainly the cathedral organs, but that basically concludes this organ video. Um, yeah, so I'm going to basically be doing a project on an organ for my DTA2 project so I shall maybe video log it or something and I'll put the link down in the description of this video so that if you view this before well after that um, has been made you can go down and click it but anyways thanks for watching this video if you found it interesting please give it a thumbs up um, and if you want to follow my hobbies of organs and stuff, please hit the subscribe button. It will really help me out, as well as, you know, notifying you each time I release a video. Um, and yeah, um, so I can't wait to start this organ project. And I shall see you guys all, I guess, soon then. But in the meantime, don't forget to live life to the max treasure your friends and also grab every opportunity you get as it will you know it, it it's already helped me out that saying so try and help you all of you guys out on the internet by using the same okay i'm just rambling on here but anyways see you guys next time okay bye I want to.